I'm going to do a motherboard replacement here on a HP DB6000. Here's what happens when we press the power. Nothing on the screen. And we get a couple of beeps there. Now it could be an error code. You can check that on the HP's website, see what four beeps mean. But we all already did that, and we tried replacing the RAM, and it's definitely a motherboard problem. So since we already did a motherboard replacement on DB6000, I'm just going to do this one in fast motion. You might be able to get something out of it because I'm doing it from a different angle. If you were planning on taking apart a DB6000 and you missed something in the first video, this will work for you. So I'm just going to speed it up right now. Okay, like I pulled that RAM out. I wanted to show you that we did try replacing the RAM. It still could have been a RAM problem, but with the new RAM in, it did the same thing. So, let's pull the front keyboard off, then get that hinge cover plate off, which has those two stingy LCD cables attached to it. Pull off the hinges there, get the screen off. Then we realized we forgot to take the wireless antenna off and the webcam cord, which we should have done in the first place before we tried to pull the screen off. Now there's a few more screws here on the top plate to get off before we can detach it from the bottom plate. And we got to get all the screws out of the bottom plate before we detach it from the top plate. Now if you look at that little pile I'm amassing of screws, most of them are the same size. And this is the part of the DB6000 that is a little tricky. There's those two standoffs that are keeping the two plates together. Definitely watch the first video to see about that. Okay, there's the motherboard. Just look for all the screws with the white arrows next to them. That should be able to give you enough indication of what screws to take out of the motherboard. Okay, let's take the processor CPU fan off. Let's get the processor out of there. Take a new motherboard, pull it out of the case, and that was the wrong motherboard, so I'm going to pull the correct motherboard out of the case. I'm going to reattach the CPU, the fan, and a heat sink. Yeah, I had two motherboards sitting over there. I accidentally pulled the wrong one, but it's a blooper. But this one is the correct motherboard. And HP's on the motherboard, right under the RAM, they have the model number, and you want to eBay. If you're doing a buying on eBay, you want to do an eBay search for that model number. That'll give you the exact motherboard that you need. Make sure you reattach all the LCD or all the cables, the ribbon cables. Get this, get those standoffs back on. Atta reattach all the screws. Attach the screen while you're holding it gently. Put all the screws back in and tighten them up with a higher torque screwdriver because you don't want these to get loose, the screws that hold the monitor on. Man, I wish I could really do laptop repairs this fast in real life. Okay, you got to feed those wireless antenna through the little gap that was created there under the keyboard. Same thing for the webcam cord here. Make sure everything's flush so the keyboard doesn't have any lumps when you put it back on. It all has to go back pro properly. It's all nice and even. Now we can put this, start to reattach these ribbon cables. These are important ribbon cables. They control the power board on the hinge cover plate there. The power button and those LED lights. The quick launch, I think they're called. Make sure all the screws are in. Let's throw that keyboard in. The hinge cover plate back on. Start to put all the stuff back in the bottom. The wireless card. Reattach the wireless antenna. It's a wireless N. They have three antennas on a wireless N card. Okay, we're going to slow it back down to normal speed right at the end here just to see what the final result's going to be. Just going to throw this last cover on, which covers the RAM and the wireless card. Two screws holding that in. Put the battery back in.
Hit the power button. Wait to see what happens. Hope we get the HP BIOS screen. 